Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I figured we would do another Sims 2 custom neighborhood showcase. I haven't done one in a while and I'd like to do at least one or two a month. Anyways, this is Archelios. This is uh, a neighborhood I found on Tumblr. I think it's also on Mod the Sims. But anyways, let's check out the neighborhood stories. Archelios is embedded in the mist of nowhere between mountains no normal sim would dare climb. The community managed by itself up until the untimely death of Abraham, the founder. As secession is called into question and secrets unravel, will the inhabitants of Archelios be able to find peace again or plunge into chaos? And then it does state a recommended play order because there is a mystery to figure out. A few months ago, the shy and sweet Oriana defied expectations and married her superior. However, with his recent passing, all eyes are on her. As suspicions arise around her and the neighbors begin to whisper about the robot living butler, what will Ori do? Being a longtime rival to the Helios family isn't easy with hairs like these. Will cunning and ruthless Giovanni break the tradition and have his youngest daughter Pia inherit instead, given how her irresponsible siblings seem too busy with fighting? Does local detective Melvin Hydes have something to hide? Does his city council member's sister know anything about it? Can they get their younger brother to try in school? And will the household survive now that their mom had to move in after failing to pay her rent? Only time will tell. Elaine's a top model citizen, perfect job, perfect husband, and two great straight A kids. Plus with her father's recent passing, she could be the richest person in Archelios. Cha-ching! Everything is going quite well for the Chun family. Darcy likes to learn new things and standing on her own two feet suits her perfectly. Her passion is botany and wants nothing more than to grow her own plants. She's especially interested in growing hothouse flowers, but has yet to make much headway with her early experiments. Adam is more interested in other aspects of science, but he loves hearing Darcy talk about her interests. Kane Helios was greatly disappointed in the woman his hair grew up to be. Running a gossip blog, Alex has no interest in inheriting Abraham's fortune, only in fighting others. Can Wubuna inspire Alex to be better? And if not, will Kane be able to claim the fortune despite her immature behavior? Diana wanted to rest in peace, but someone woke her from her sleep. While she misses her family dearly, but doesn't want them to see what she has become, she copes with her loneliness by adopting some strays. Poor young Narcissa never thought she would be left alone to fend for herself all alone be before becoming an adult. But her horrible father threw her out for being bullied at school and her sister accused her of stalking just because she made a dress identical to the one she posted on Instagram in less than 24 hours. Struggling to make ends meet with a really tough job, the pressures of internet fame and a cruel boss on top of zombieism. All hope seems to be lost. If only she could make her problems disappear. After the unfortunate loss of his best friend Abraham, Salem has taken over the rule as unofficial patriarch of Archelios, working hard and leading to keeping the neighborhood harmonious. Will Salem also find the time to assist with healing his son's broken heart? One of the oldest families in Archelios, the Durants, pride themselves on their independence from the Helioses and the Rivalis family, even if they have a good relationship with the latter. The vet's stringing moods, Launch's grief, and Tabitha's stress make the family struggle, but somehow they always land on top and stay away from the drama. How long will they be able to do so? The story will only be finally solved by one thing when you find the truth. You must look in the past for the key and use it to open the door. Apartments are not included. Once you have the key, you may be able to bring peace to Archelios once again. And if there is a hint, it says it is not a physical object. You must look in the past of the family and use it to fix the present. Keep a good eye out for anything you see. Once you get the key, please go to archelios.tumblr.com slash solve the mystery. This is necessary. So, because there is a mystery in this neighborhood, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing this little custom neighborhood tour, but I think to start, let's check out some of the community lots and then maybe we'll check out a family or two. Let's start with Factory Park. Is it weird to have a park next to a factory? Who cares? Have an enjoyable time camping here while precious fossil fuels are being harvested for the greedy purposes next door. The factories next door are by the Revalis, so if you have an issue, bring it up with them. Yes, someone got murdered here, but please come to our park anyways. Okay, we're definitely checking this out. Alright, we're at the park here, and I really like how it's laid out. 
little camping site. I love the little campfire. There's some swings for the kids. And I like how mismatchy it is. And you know how it says someone got murdered here? Part of me thinks they got thrown into this little pond. Who knows? And it looks like these are just bathrooms. Yeah, just bathrooms. I do like how it's laid out. I never use these mirrors for community lot bathrooms, so that's pretty cool. All right, next community lot we will check out is the Ark Church and Cemetery. All good things come to an end, including your Sims' lives. The good news is that the bad ones will end up here too, so it's perfectly balanced. Unfortunately for you, there aren't any magical stones here, just dead ones. Alright, here's a cemetery, and I really love how this is laid out. I'm not sure why there is no stone here, so I'm just gonna quickly do that. There we go. I love these little statues too, little Pegasus ones. Actually, I want to see who is laid here. Oh, this is a bear. I hope it's not a kid. I'd hate to mess this up. Jefferson Helios. Susie Wright. Priyanka Mishra Helios. Who's over here? Yorick Napier. Maggie Hides. Xavier Chun, Vivian Chun. Oh, nice, they have the little podium here. That's pretty cool. Very beautiful church. I love it. Very cute. All right, off to the next one. And it looks like our last community lot is the Apocalypse Essentials. What will you do if a zombie apocalypse breaks out? Gather as much food and weapons as possible, of course. At Apocalypse Essentials, you can purchase foods with a long time until their expiration date, and weapons that are 100% legal-ish. We haven't really checked. And there's a ton of groceries. I'm actually kind of concerned with why the sinks are out in the open. It's a little different, but pretty cool detail. Looks like this is salt and pepper and some sugar. Groceries, life vests. Nice little building. So now I kind of want to go through the empty lots and then maybe we'll do like one or two families just because like I said I don't want to accidentally kind of solve the case in case you guys want to figure it out yourself. So let's check out this apartment. Oh these are nice and I like how they're themed. Like this one's obviously the green one, this is the red one. This is pink and green, and this is yellow. I really like the living room in this one. I never use the red swatch for the, the bookshelf, so that's pretty nice. All right, next house I wanna check out is right next to the Chun family. So, Tenor Two Way, that's the name of the lot. Oh, I love the little skylight. Wonder how they did that. Ah, custom content. I might have to put that in my main game. That's pretty cool. I love the skylights in The Sims 4. Oh, they even have an indoor garden. You know, we had one of these in my high school, too. This house is really nice. I really like it. We got the bedroom, the bathroom. Little seating area. Computer, TV, of course. The kitchen seems small, but I really do like it. And then, of course, the bedroom. Even has couches up here, too. Pretty cool. I like this house. I may actually try to build something like this. Because 
This gave me some inspiration. Alright, now I think we should check out some family. So I'm actually not going to go in the order recommended. But there is a zombie family I wanted to see. I just have to see what family it was. We gotta find our sister here. I don't know. Ah, there. Is this her? Yes, it is. Let's check out her household. Plus, we could check out the apartment. Oh, it looks like this neighborhood has custom seasons set out, so it's summer, summer, and spring, spring. Pretty nice. Looks like her one of the locked ones is locked. It says, look at neighbors. She died pretty young. Looks like she just became an adult and then passed. That's pretty sad. You know, I actually don't play with zombies that much, so this is pretty cool. Her house is very messy. And the use of this tile in like the living room is kind of concerning. But you know what, I kind of like the grungy look. What's upstairs? Very, very messy. Kind of looks like she was almost an artist. Oh my gosh, what's this? I want to check this out. Oh my gosh, she wants to move out of here. You know, I don't blame you. I actually kind of see what this says, but maybe I won't because I think it has something to do with the story. <laughs> or the mystery, rather. Anyway, her personality. She's very sloppy, very outgoing, very lazy. She's pretty playful and she's not a nice person at all. We'll check out her bio too. Few have had it as hard as Narcissa. Her mother is dead, her father abandoned her, and her sister hates her for no reason. She's so nice and kind and yet people constantly put her down just because she's a girl or because she doesn't look like Darcy or because she's younger, or because she didn't pay attention in class, or because she's poor. It's not my fault Darcy threw me under the bus, literally dooming me to zombification. Oh my gosh. Now everyone at school are verbally abusing me for no reason. Can't they just leave me alone? Okay, that is very interesting. Let's check out our memories too. Okay, potty trained. You know, the basic toddler and kid memories. Now, private school. Got fired. Got a job. Mom died. Why is this a good memory? That makes me sad. Enemies with Darcy became a zombie. So she must have died a little after her mom did her. Oh, she got expelled from college. Interesting. Got fired. Moved out. Sounds like she didn't want to move out or move in. Honestly, I don't even think she wanted to become a zombie or come back alive, it looks like. Now got fired again. Moved out. Oh, she was happy about this move, though. Grew up well. Didn't go to college. Met a ton of sims. Anyways, with Roman. Got a job. And Abraham died. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna check out the other zombie family, and she's over here. Oh my gosh, why are they in the ground? Okay. So this is Diana's house. Very nice. She has a couple dog houses for the babies. That's very nice. Her house is very empty. 
and her dog bowls are empty, so that's a little sad. Fall in love, fall in love with Kane, and get married. And she's a cancer, so she's kind of in between sloppy and neat. She's shy, active, serious, and nice. Her bio just says, Diana just wanted to rest in peace. You know, I don't blame you. Don't blame her one bit. Let's check out her memories. Okay, pretty generic so far. Oh, interesting. He cheated, broke up, and... That's crazy. He had affairs with multiple people. Now that I'm looking at this closely, that is insane. Wow. Alright, I actually want to check out one more house. And then I think we'll call it a day. You know what, let's check out the Fontana house. Because her husband died, so let's do that. Okay, we're here at the Fontana house, and it looks like she's having a party with literally everybody visiting. So this is Oriana. She's very pretty. I like her name, too. We're gonna check out everything for her, so she's in love with the robot. She doesn't really like her son for some reason. That is so weird. She hates that guy. Unemployed. She's very neat, very shy, pretty active, serious, and grouchy. Smart but shy, Oriana is content in her wants and needs. The only thing she loves more than books is saffron cakes. Nothing better than relaxing in the afternoon with a good romance novel and have the robot hand you homemade cakes hot from the oven. Check out her memories as well. Oh, interesting. I wonder how he died. And then he got fired from his job. Ran away. Came back. Now you're an adult. Osbert grew up badly. Why is that a green number? Anyway, never went to college. Someone stole the TV. Job as a natural scientist. You know, pretty much all the basic stuff. Interesting. You know, let's check out the robots too. He wants to get a job. Pretty interesting. And, you know, he's pretty generic. He is neat, shy, pretty active, serious, and kind of in between grouchy and nice. Is he alive or dead? Okay, I think that's supposed to say, does he have thoughts within his head? Anyway, he was built from steel in Abraham's lab, one of the first servo prototypes. Nobody wanted him, but Abraham saw his potential. Yeah, his stuff's pretty generic, so nothing crazy. Let's see Nicholas here. Ah, oh, you poor little baby. He's gonna have a rough life, so not many memories, but he loves the robot. Probably because the mom wants nothing to do with him. Yeah, that's pretty sad. 
He's sloppy, outgoing, lazy, playful, and nice. Nicholas has brought Iron Man such joy. His cheeky personality makes every day an adventure for the robot. Anyway, let's check out the house. Very cool, there's a basketball court. They even have a sauna in the backyard. Bowling alley. That is crazy. This is definitely the party house. Decent sized dining room. Very nice kitchen. Living room. Obviously her secret lab here. She has a ton of stuff. And a cow plant. Bedroom. Has a nice gym too. Another bedroom. Wonder if one's for the robot. Why is the kids room not have a door? I don't understand. That is pretty depressing. That's a big garage. Garage, another bed. Oh, maybe this is the robot's little house. That's crazy. Yeah, it just goes right to the bowling game. Oh my gosh. Why is this down here? There's no walls or nothing. This is buried? Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright everyone, I think that's it for the neighborhood tour. I don't really want to spoil too much of like the mystery by just going through all these households and our neighborhood stories. But I will link the neighborhood download in the description along with the tumblr page as well anyways guys thank you all so much for watching i do appreciate it and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye